Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to this video. I haven't had much time to do videos and stuff. I've been recovering from surgery. I know this video has been requested by quite a few people and I thought it would be something that was really easy to explain and open and honest as well. So if you guys have been following me for a while or if you've seen on my Insta or even in past videos quite a long time ago, maybe a year or two ago, you would have known that I suffered from acne. I had hormonal acne. I was told by my GP that there's nothing you can do about hormonal acne and so I decided to go on a journey and figure out how to cure my acne myself because I just felt like there's so much misinformation. There's so many advertisements on Instagram, TikTok, etc. of people trying to sell products that are like, this will make your skin wonderful, when it actually has lots of different harmful components within the products that damage your skin further unless you have very resilient skin. For me, I think my acne was not only hormonal, but was also caused by using products that were very harmful to my skin. My acne used to be quite painful. I got a lot of issues with self-esteem because of my acne and I didn't want to go out as much. You just feel unclean because you know it's pus on your face and it's just not comfortable and I really understand people who have trouble with acne and not just the acne itself but the emotional complications that that actually adds on to your everyday life. I sympathize for you and I really do understand. I hope this can help. My skin today, as you can see, I'm not claiming that my skin is perfect. It is not perfect at all, but I do not have painful, regular acne anymore. I do get pimples on occasion still. If I have a lot of sugar, for example, is my biggest trigger. So I do try and avoid sugar as much as possible or in very small amounts. I do still get a lot of discoloration of sort of that redness around my chin but gradually over time it is getting better, but that's just a process to change that discoloration. My biggest advice is to not listen to people. I know I'm talking on YouTube, but my biggest advice is to not listen to people who are trying to sell you something about a product for your face. Listen to licensed dermatologists and you will actually see results. And listen to those people because they have the knowledge and the education to actually tell you what works and that is their job. It's not about trying to sell you particular products, their job is to help you solve your problem. I got all of my advice from Dr. V and Dr. Lee. In combination of those, I watched a lot of different videos uh, from these two wonderful creators or these two sets of creators. From that, I ended up pulling out parts that I felt were most relevant to me, the ones targeted towards acne and more oily skin and a damaged skin barrier, which I think was one of my contributing factors. Dr. V does specialize in skin of color. I obviously do not have skin of color, but a lot of her tips and a lot of her recommendations are for everyone, but she does do a lot of very specific for skin of color, but it does work for people with lighter toned skin as well. So she's a great resource. From doing a lot of research through their videos and understanding the components of skincare and their recommendations, I ended up coming up with a curated set of routines that are number one, affordable. It is so expensive a lot of the time to have really good skincare. I managed to find things that are really quite affordable within skincare. It's been working really well for me. I've been using all of these products for over a year now, probably about two years now, and I have noticed a major difference. If you see my skin now, as opposed to my skin two years ago, the difference is crazy. And this has been the main thing. Really the only thing that I've changed is what I'm actually doing within my skincare routine. I'll start you guys on what I do. Please remember that this is curated to my skin. Your skin may be more sensitive or you may need other products or some things may not work for you. Every individual is different. This is what worked for me with Caucasian skin. I was very oily, but that was actually due to excess like sebum and my skin actually felt dry a lot of the time, but there was just a lot of excess oil. It's hard to explain. I also live somewhere that is very humid and so I don't need as crazy heavy a moisturizer as some people who live in colder climates. So that's also something to keep in mind. So I'll go over, I have a morning routine, a evening routine, and then I do a couple of things different when I wash my hair every week. So I'll start with my morning routine. 
I first use the benzyl peroxide acne 4% treatment. It is made by CeraVe, which is for the most part quite a good company from what I've heard from licensed dermatologists, but not all of their products contain ingredients that are very good for your skin. This is one of them and I love this cleanser. It's just, it's great. An important note with this is you just got to be very, very gentle when you rub it in, like you're just trying not to pull the skin, rub it in super gentle and then just rinse it off. And I always use a clean face towel to just dab my face dry. Instead of like wiping it dry, I just pat it dry. And I find that's actually made a pretty big difference as well. So first up, the CeraVe Benzyl Peroxide. After I cleanse, I then put the Azalic Acid Suspension 10% from the Ordinary brand. I use a very, very small amount of this and just put a tiny little dab and just gently massage it into my face. Make sure you sort of try and get your neck and, is it called decolletage? Is that what it's called? Area as well and the back of your neck because those areas also do age and they also have similar skin to what's on your face. I then use the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion that is fragrance free. Now apparently there's a difference between like creams, lotions, and these are balms or something, and there are different levels of moisture, and this apparently lotions are a, a lighter moisturizer because of where I live. I really only need a lighter moisturizer. If I live somewhere colder, I would invest in getting a more thick moisturizer. And finally, an essential part of any skincare routine is using sunscreen. Now I use We Are Feel Good Incorporated, the Sensitive Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This is not recommended, like they don't not recommend it, but I haven't seen them recommend it, um, Dr. V or Dr. Lee. I haven't seen those two bodies recommend this at all, but it's been working for me. This is a chemical sunscreen as opposed to a physical sunscreen. Dr. V talks about these a lot and how they act in very different ways to protect your skin from UV rays. A very simplified version of this is a chemical sunscreen reacts with UV rays to kind of deactivate them and turn them into something else so that they do not then damage your skin. A physical barrier actually sort of makes UV rays bounce off of your skin. And so because chemical ones sometimes the leftover components of that can be a little bit more irritating to your skin than a physical boundary. So physical sunscreens are better, but they are quite expensive in comparison. And I found this has worked for me, but I highly would recommend going and looking at Dr. V's recommendations for sunscreen, but you should be wearing sunscreen every single day. She says you should reapply every two hours for optimal results, but I don't do that. <laughs> I just put it on in the mornings and if I happen to go out again in the sun, I will put on more, but really I just put it on once. And I found that actually putting on sunscreen has actually helped my skin to not be as dry over time. And I do feel like sunscreen has made a massive, massive difference to my skin. My evening routine is very similar. Firstly, twice a week or once to twice a week, I use the DHC deep cleansing oil. Um, this is a Japanese oil. It is for makeup removal as well as you massage it into, into those really large, sort of more obvious areas of sebaceous glands. So you massage this into your T-zone. I do it probably once to twice a week, just sort of when I notice they're getting more obvious around my nose. Uh, basically, oil can remove oil. If you just cleanse your face, the sebaceous filaments, which is what people kind of call blackheads, but they're kind of different, where you see all the little dots on your face, it makes those less obvious because it cleans out the oil within them and replaces it with a clean and not so dark a color looking oil. That's my understanding. I'm probably not 100% on the target of what it does, but it does work. You have to massage it in for about three to five minutes though, really gently and only in those zones. I tend to only do here. I don't do my forehead or my chin because my chin is extremely sensitive. That's where I have my discoloration. So I only do this on my nose and just sort of on the tops of my cheeks. And I find that this makes a big difference for not making my sebaceous filaments obvious. I then go in with my CeraVe cleanser and then I use two drops 
of the ordinary retinol 0.5% in squalene. Dr. V does talk about retinol and how your skin needs to build up sort of like a tolerance to it. So you need to start at a lower percentage. I'm not gonna go any higher than this because I think my skin is quite sensitive. Believe it or not, having a higher concentration does not equal better results. You need to tailor it to your skin, what your skin can handle, and then use the benefits from that. So I've been really happy with the 0.5. Mitch has been using, I believe, the 0.1%, and that works really great for us. And lastly, again, the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I just put that on always as a base layer. Now, if I wash my hair, there is an exception to my routine in the evening only, and that is after I cleanse, I then use the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. And this is a chemical exfoliant. Um, Dr. V especially goes into how you should never use physical exfoliants. That's like those like scrubs where you can actually feel like the granules. You should never use those is what I understood from her videos because they physically damage your skin barrier. Chemical exfoliants are really good. They react with the bacteria that you don't want on your face and basically clean it. It's really great. I love how my skin feels after this, particularly the day after. So I do this after I wash my hair, which I do on Wednesdays and Saturdays, followed up by my moisturizer. So that's my routine. I don't feel like it's really complex. I did start simple and then you just sort of work in and add more products in as you need them. I'm really happy with what I have at the moment. I do want to change over my sunscreen, but physical sunscreen is, like I said, very expensive. So I haven't had the funds to be able to do that, but I will um, put up on the screen how much everything cost. Just if you got, I'll also put up how big of a size you will get for how much it cost. And this is the cheapest I've been able to find with a skincare routine tailored towards acne and skin barrier protection. This is also an AU dollars, so just keep that in mind. Only other thing to note would be that sometimes if I'm in air conditioning a lot, my skin feels really, really oily and unhappy. So sometimes in the middle of the day, I do have a very quick cleanse, just a really gentle one, and then I just re-moisturize, I don't put any other products on. And that's only if I feel my skin in the middle of the day has been kind of, it just feels oily, it feels yuck. Sometimes um, I do this if I've been cooking a lot, because if you cook a lot, sometimes this stuff can get in your face, particularly if you're using a lot of oil. So that is something that I occasionally do as well. Thank you for listening. I hope the takeaway that you got from this is please listen to licensed dermatologists when it comes to your skin. Do not go around and just seek advice from people that you like or people that have something to sell, because often people don't actually understand how the products work and what is actually good for your skin. There's a lot of hype and a lot of trends when it comes to skincare. And I really advise that you don't buy into that and you really follow the professional recommendations because they will actually stand you in good stead and you won't end up having worse skin over time, which I got into that rabbit hole and it was really terrible and hard to get out of. And you just feel like a failure because you're trying and trying and trying to do things to fix your skin and nothing's working. And the only thing that worked for me was actually listening to professionals. And I'm so glad that I actually did. They have wonderful education videos. Please check out their channels. I'll link them in the description below. They are very, very good doctors and they do really know their stuff. That'll be it for today. Thank you for coming along. I am recovering okay with my leg. It is just a bit of a process at the moment and I've been very tired a lot of the time. Sleep has been really challenging, but I'm getting there. So I did have a week off, which is why I didn't post a video last week, but I'm hoping that gradually I'll be able to um, have regular posts again. Thank you again for coming along. I hope this helped anyone. Please feel free to chuck any questions you have in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer anything that you would like to know. And I really wish all of you the best in your acne journey. I really do understand how challenging it is and you can do this. You will get there. Don't expect anything to happen soon. Like I said, I've been doing this for two years before I really saw significant results. I My skin gradually just felt better and better, but it is also a big component within your diet and what you eat impacts your skin a lot. So 
There's a lot of other things to be mindful of with your skin, but I hope this is a step towards the right direction for you guys because I love you all and I just want you guys to have and feel amazing within yourselves and know that you are beautiful.